Today, I'll show you how to do your NDAX crypto taxes. Hello, and welcome back to another integration video. We're talking about NDAX. This is a wallet I actually covered recently, but there is one pretty big update that um, has forced us to make another video. So apologies for all the videos, but I do hope they are helpful and they do save you time in the long run. I will tell you a little bit about NDAX, then I'll jump into the integration part of this video, and then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax information, assuming you're most likely from Canada obviously your tax reports will be tailored towards that. And then if you have any comments, questions, concerns, I'll leave a bunch of different resources down below. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. So NDAX was founded in 2018 and it's based out of Calgary, Canada. It is a very popular exchange in Canada and we have detailed guides on crypto taxes in Canada. If you'd like to learn more, I'll leave those in the description down below. NDAX is a beginner friendly platform with mostly basic spot trading. Um, they claim to offer high security because they hold a majority of user funds in offline multi-signature wallets. So really important stuff there. Let me know how uh, you are enjoying the platform and what you are using it for. But yeah, let's jump into the integration now. Okay, so first things first, log into your index and then you're gonna go to your settings, which is gonna be at the very bottom on the left-hand side. Then you're gonna scroll on down to the tax reporting area and then you're gonna toggle the permission on, connect account with Coinly obviously agree to this disclaimer if you'd like to proceed. And then um, it should now take you to Coinly where you can connect your account. Uh, if you already have your Coinly account, you want to connect um, by logging into that account uh, here as well. So this is the screen you'll see in front of you. And then you're just gonna click continue. So after you've clicked continue, the data should start importing. You can also add index in wallets manually if you have a Coinly account. Um, really cool new feature, really cool stuff. Um, adding index from Coinly. So you would go to add wallets, choose index, choose auto, auto automated sync, and it will now route you to index where you can log in and turn on SSO from index settings. Okay, so that's one route you can take to get your information into Coinly. Another route is via CSV files. So we would click import from file. And once again, really awesome stuff here. The instructions are written out and this video is shown here under the watch video category. So let's follow along and see where this takes us. Okay, log into Endax. In the left corner, we're gonna go into reports. So it's at the very close to the very bottom. And then we're gonna select um, reports history all types, oh, sorry, ledgers. We're gonna go to formats, CSV. We're gonna select a date range appropriate for your needs. Um, if you've had this wallet or if you've had this exchange for many years, make sure to include your entire transaction history from the first day, the first transaction to you know the current date. So um, select a time frame and then click create report. So it's gonna take us to this section. We're gonna click CSV, report type ledger and then date range will be obviously different than mine. This is just an example. It would click create report and there is the file. Just download it and import it here into Coinly. Click import and it's as simple as that. And once your transaction history has been imported, you can go into transactions and check under the hood, make sure everything is sitting correctly with you. If you have any type of staking, make sure that's tagged correctly sent to pool, sent from pool. I've made videos on that. And then once you're happy with everything there, you can go into your tax reports area to get one final summary of your crypto activity throughout the year. And here you can check all kinds of interesting things like your capital gains, your other incomes, um, your other gains, your income, your costs and expenses, your gifts and donations. Uh, and then when you're happy with everything you see there, scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different reports. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D, Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia. And then lastly, Canada, Germany, and other countries, we have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to your accountant, or you can invite them alternatively to our um, website to set up their account seat firm here with us. And then lastly, what I tell everyone is check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll do it for today's video. If you need further assistance, I'm going to leave a bunch of different resources down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center, where you're going to find countless different resources on crypto tax related topics. We have a forum section if you want to talk to members of our community, as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then lastly, if all else fails, send us a message directly and we'd love to help you out. But I do hope you found this video.